How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Milton Asian channel. Today we're unboxing having a look at the Dell U2719D 2K monitor. Okay guys, now if you find this video uh, useful then please drop a like and subscribe down below, it really helps me out. So this is the Dell U27 uh, 19D, uh, it's like a professional monitor. So uh, the box does come with uh, actually nice kind of uh, color, uh, uh, like a satin finish box to keep it protected while it's in movement, which is always good to see. Now Dell do package their stuff well because they're quite a professional company and you don't get like the brown box that you kind of get with your other stuff. So that's the front of it there. Um, on the side, you just got your kind of packaging, you know, serial information, that kind of stuff. There it tells you a bit more about what's inside it and there. And then here it tells you about the different connections down below. So, uh, you know, what you get inside. So let's just uh, crack this thing open here. So you just need to hold it open there. It's got a nice carry handle at the top there. And then you lie it flat. And then the whole thing opens out like that. Okay. So let's just open, have a look what we get inside. Okay guys, now inside the box, you do actually get these things. So here we go, we've got the uh, like a USB uh, 3.0B cable that goes to the USB. Uh, it's quite a nice, good quality cable as well. You obviously get the power cable as well, which is just your standard kettle lead type cable. You also get here a full size display port to display port cable as well. Again, good quality. Obviously here you've got your, uh, your energy rating card, you've got your calibration factory port as well because it comes uh, factory calibrated to uh, the SRGB which is always good to see with Dell monitors. Um, you obviously have your quick start guide as well and you've got your uh, label on the front which kind of tells you where that is and you've got your warranty information pack as well. Um, now when you get the stand and the, uh, the neck out, it's a good idea to actually leave the monitor display inside the box because it's the safest way of doing it. So the stand kind of fits together um, by itself. So what you can do is get yourself the, uh, the, the base and then attach it to here, um, which is the back, obviously the bottom of the actual stand itself. And then screw that in first, which is a normal thumb screw type. You can obviously use a, a screwdriver to tighten it a bit further but you got that there. So once that's in, it's a very nice looking stand with a little uh, protective cover over the Dell logo. Once you've got that in, this thing just clicks straight into the, um, uh, the actual uh, back of the monitor itself while it's in the box. So there's no screws involved. All you've got to do is just slot it in there and then it kind of attaches on there. Um, and then you can um, pull the whole thing out of the monitor uh, out the box. Once that's safely in, you can actually just lift the whole panel out there nice and safely and it's secure um, on the uh, thing itself. So I'm just going to put this here. Obviously, you've got this protective film on it there. Um, so, you know, which is on the actual panel. So we'll just kind of peel that away there. And then there's nothing else in the box. So we'll just put that down here. Okay. Now, this is a very good looking panel when it's turned off. So you've got the kind of, it's not a full on matte finish to the display. It's actually a, uh, like a semi gloss kind of satin finish, but it's not full on like um, gloss like you get, you know, on a, on a TV there, um, which is kind of uh, nice to see as well. Um, so obviously you've got all these different connections here on the back. Um, so we've got the power connection here, which is under kettle lead type. You've got the HDMI as well, full size display port, um, another full size display port. So what's strange is that this one actually has a, uh, a guard on it there, but the other ones don't. So that's a bit weird. Um, we've got a, it looks like a, a sound audio port there. We've got the USB A cable, and obviously we've got the two USB cables as well that are point three there as well. And then on the over here we have a uh, Kensington lock. On the right hand side of the bottom of the panel you've got also an additional two USB 3.0 ports. Now the design of this panel is actually brilliant. It's a really slim profile as well. It's a really professional looking um, uh, uh, monitor that um, you know that isn't too far from what Apple kind of do. You know it looks like I mean it looks like a unibody but it's not. Um, I mean you are getting the um, up on the back here I'll just show you that. So it is getting this kind of titanium kind of silver 
looking um, a gun metal kind of color there. Very slim profile, very smooth, and you've got the matte kind of finish there at the bottom as well. Um, from the front, obviously really, really thin bezels on this thing. Um, and it's a very thin profile on the side as well. You've got a small Dell logo there as well. Um, on the, you can actually rotate this thing as well, any direction you choose as well, which is kind of good. So if you've got two maybe next to each other, you can have one landscape. And then once you move this all the way up, you can have that on the uh, portrait like that. So that's great for doing stuff like um, coding or if you want to read a long uh, uh, spreadsheet or something like that or a whole web page. You can do that in the uh, portrait mode as well. You can just flip that around that, that dead easy. You have to have the um, stand elevated to the utmost top position for it to actually swivel around like that. So that's something to bear in mind. You also got here at the back a nice section where you can route your cables through as well. So once you've got your uh, power cables and all the rest of it inside there, you can actually route the cables through the bottom there and then you've got, it makes it you know nice and neat for your cable management which will go straight to your, your plug socket on the wall. So um, I'm gonna just plug this thing into uh, a laptop so you can actually see what it looks like when it's turned on. So here's the laptop plugged in. Um, as you can see, we're just running some uh, 2K content here. So as, you, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's a 2560 by 1440 panel in here, IPS as well. So that means your, your colors are gonna look really vibrant and they're gonna stand out, look really nice. Um, so it makes it great for like photo editing or if you're using Adobe Lightroom or maybe do some mild photo editing, you know, um, it'd be great for that kind of stuff. Um, being 2560 by 1440 as well, you can fit a lot of content on the screen. For example, um, a Excel spreadsheet, which I'm gonna just open up now. As you can see with a spreadsheet on 2560 by 1440, you can hold a lot of the information there um, all throughout the uh, display because you've got that extra real estate when compared to a 1920 by 1080 panel. Additionally, with this uh, particular Dell panel, because obviously you can uh, rotate it completely 90 degrees, will make it really good for spreadsheets as well where you've got a lot of long, long information. So if I just rotate this now, you can have a look. So here, rotated, as you can see, it makes it great for consuming web content, um, or if you had maybe some Word documents, a really long one, um, in a portrait mode, um, consuming that type of content works really well. Um, and now, if you had two of these monitors, for example, you could have one landscape, one portrait, which would make it great for something like Adobe Dreamweaver, where you need to do some coding HTML, because the majority of uh, people that are gonna be going after this monitor will be professionals that will be using those types of programs. Now being an IPS panel, uh, one advantage that the Dell has is their viewing angles as well. So say if I was to tilt this, you know, uh, maybe towards this way, you can see that the colors kind of still look good. This is the maximum tilt uh, swivel it's got, uh, so it won't go any further than that. But the colors um, from even like that kind of viewing angle will still look really good, um, which is kind of good to know if, for example, you have got two next to each other and you are viewing them both at an angle. Um, at least you know your colors won't suffer there as well. So the viewing angles on this particular monitor is really good. Um, another thing that I, I'm going to mention is the um, uh, local dimming. Now this uh, monitor itself hasn't got any local dimming, which means it's an edge lit panel. Um, so what you, that will probably mean to you is if you are looking at a really dark scene such as something like this, where you've got something bright in the middle, you will get that blooming around the, the edges, but the actual black itself um, won't look completely black. It's be more of a, like a, a light gray because the, the LEDs of the panel itself can't physically turn sections of the uh, um, you know monitor off. Um, so you will always get that kind of a gray kind of tinge to the black in the dimming. So uh, it has no local dimming, it's just the edge, edge dimming. Moving on to black uniformity. Now IPS panels themselves tend to not be the best um, uh, at black uniformity um, simply because they're edge lit. So um, the, the grit, you will get a lot of, uh, along the edge of the bottom of it, uh, a lot of dark um, spots mixed with uh, gray spots where the light is bleeding into the panel. Now being uh, an edge lit IPS panel, which is a bit notorious for being quite uh, not so good for those types of situations, then that might be something that affects you if you are consuming a lot of dark content. But for the everyday user, you know, browsing web, that kind of stuff, uh, editing photos where they're quite colorful anyway, and you're not really gonna have that problem. This is more of something that you'd probably find an issue with if you are watching a lot of video content or films or movies and that kind of stuff, um, or you're editing video where it's really dark scenes. Color accuracy from the box is actually quite decent from the Dell U27. You actually get the color calibration factory report which tells you exactly what 
calibration software um, hardware it's actually using to calibrate the monitor and it puts it as close as you can get from the fact for the, the best from the factory uh, for this particular panel for sRGB output which is what generally most people will be viewing and consuming content on the actual panel itself anyway so that's really good that it gives you that there so the color uh, you probably won't get any better unless you use your own color calibration software uh, and hardware um, to do it yourself but for majority of people that um, you know that bit of this is kind of priced that for will be spot on for their kind of use for photo editing and etc. Now this monitor isn't really aimed at gamers themselves, but you can obviously, if you do dabble in a bit of game and you want something that's a bit of both, then you know, um, depending on the type of games you play, that this could be a good bet. Because uh, the monitor itself is 2560 by 1440, so you do get a really ultra sharp kind of image output on this thing. Um, so, um, and but the refresh rate is only 60 hertz, so it won't go any higher than that. There's no um, extra bells and whistles such as um, you know, NVIDIA G-Sync or AMD FreeSync technology in this is just a straight up normal 2560 by 1440 60 hertz panel. Um, now, if you're playing slow, uh, slower paced games where speed isn't so much of an issue, um, something like um, Skyrim or StarCraft 2 or maybe League of Legends, something like that, then, you know, this isn't too bad um, as a, of an option for you. Um, because you know they're more single player games and you don't really have to be competitive. If you are playing something like this however, which is like Overwatch or Counter Strike Go, something like that, Fortnite, where it's really fast paced, you're moving the mouse around quite a lot, then this is probably not going to be the best bet for you if that's the more important thing for you, um, a, a gaming. Um, you're better off going for a, a gaming panel with more higher refresh rate. However, this one, um, you know, for the single player games, it's more than fine because it looks really nice with the IPS panel. The colors really pop and looks really good. So the buttons for the actual monitor itself are located just here on the uh, right hand side. And then here you can press this one um, and then it brings up this little widget here. It kind of gives you a bit of shortcut. So if I open up the main menu here, this is what it looks like with the Dell Ultra Shop and it can tell you which buttons kind of go where. So obviously you've got you, this is the stock settings out of the box. We've got 75% brightness and contrast there. You can change your input source from display port, HDMI, auto select, etc. Um, we've got the color and preset modes. As you can see, it's set to standard RGB. Um, also we've got here, you know, we've got the response time, normal, etc. You can change all these. Um, it's default settings is language is English, but when you first turn it on, you get to choose what language you want there. Uh, and then you can personalize extra stuff, you know, for shortcuts and all that kind of jazz. Others, what we've we got here, LCD conditioning, all that kind of, you know, it, it lets you do the factory reset as well, um, all in there. So that's what you get in your menu settings. Overall, I think the Dell U27 is a great IPS panel. Um, now with Dell, you're getting really good build quality and you get a good warranty as well with them. Um, and the design of the thing is beautiful, looks really great, and looks really sharp on a uh, uh, on top of your desk. If you want something a bit more professional looking, not got all these LEDs and bells and whistles that a gaming panel has, then it's a good choice to go for. Bear in mind that it's not the fastest panel in the world, um, you know, for gaming and stuff like that. So if you're playing slow paced games, it's fine, something like Skyrim, an RPG. Whereas um, uh, if you're doing photo or um, Excel spreadsheets, browsing the web, you know, business use, then it's a great panel for that um, with its uh, 2560 by 1440 um, screen resolution um, and the IPS and the viewing angles. It's really good for an office kind of uh, workspace. So overall, I do recommend it for someone who's after that professional monitor that's uh, kind of a bit of a good all-rounder, um, then it's a good panel for that. Um, so thank you for watching my unboxing and quick look at the Dell U2717, is it 17 or 19? U2719D. Um, please drop a like and subscribe if you found this video useful and thank you very much.